the low level laser therapy. The laser beam has stimulated an electromagnetic emission from the light spectrum. The most frequently used low level laser therapy rays are those with wavelengths from 630 up to 660 nanometers hot at the visual sun spectrum. Low-level laser therapy is an effective method of stimulating regenerative processes in the biological tissues with pronounced anti-inflammatory and an analgesic effect. Laser beam with wavelength of 630 to 660 nanometers accelerates the regeneration of the conjunctive, osseous, nerve and epithelial tissue in pathological processes. The effect is related to activation of vascularity and metabolism with intensive synthesis of proteins and nucleic acids in the zone of laser treatment. Of great importance is the anti-inflammatory effect determined by the acceleration of exudation and alteration activation of the restorative proliferation and strengthening of the local tissue immune protection. The analgesic effect is a result of the subsequent vasodilation and vasoconstriction of the vessels. The laser therapy is applied in the treatment of the following conditions. Cases of inflamed dental pulp for inflammatory process control by method of biological treatment. The laser energy implemented into the pulp normalizes the disturbed blood circulation, suppresses exudation and pain and stimulates tissue regeneration. This treatment can be combined with medicament therapy which affects the etiological factor of inflammation. After vital extirpation, the laser treatment suppresses traumatic inflammation and pain in the apical area, and after mortal extirpation, the arsenical apical or marginal periodontitis. In the treatment of acute chronic exacerbated cases of periodontitis, the anti-inflammatory and analgesic effect of laser has a beneficial effect. In laser therapy, the pain decreases still after the second procedure. The acute phase of inflammatory process shortens by two to three days. A considerable acceleration of regenerative process is observed. The method is successfully combined with medicament and ionophoretic treatment. In the treatment of gingivitis, the laser therapy suppresses inflammatory processes and stimulates metabolism and regeneration. The therapy is well combined with ionophoretic infiltration of capillary strengthening vitamins C, CP, gallus, corbinum, aloe, etc. The complex is supplied with a user manual with optimized methods for dental diseases developed and approved by leading specialists of the dental faculties. In each method the indications and counterindications of laser therapy are shown together with statistically optimal values of the necessary power density of the laser beam applied to one field, the number of fields for therapy, the number of procedures, etc. This movie shows a laser therapy after cystectomy of cyst radicularis of the 16th tooth. The section begins from 14 and ends up at the 17th tooth. Laser therapy is supplied as supplementary to medicament treatment. This therapy accelerates the formation of granulated tissue, its fibrosation and ossification. Laser therapy begins on the second day after removing the bandage on the 14th tooth, vestibular 
and link form. The frontal part of the light guide likely comes into contact in the field of the gingiva and the procedure starts. In this case, a special splay light guide is used. In cases of buccal treatment, a frontal light guide is used. The most appropriate light guide shaft in the cases of lingual treatment is the hard one. A few more procedures should be made to the patient before ending the therapy. Frequently, in the cases in which the light guide contact with traumatic gingiva may cause pain, like for example post-operative therapy, is performed so-called scanning therapy. In this case, the therapy is performed from a distance and the laser beam is driven manually, smoothly, by the dentist across the whole area liable to therapy. Now you can see laser therapy applied in a case of gingivitis. The laser therapy is applied simultaneously with routine medical treatment after local irritations such as tartar, poor quality obturations and others are removed. The effect of the therapy is decreasing permeability of the blood vessels, decreasing of exudation, edema and highly expressed analgesia in the treated areas. The device is programmed in an appropriate mode according to the recommended tables, in this case for gingivitis. A sterilized light guide is put on. In this case, a frontal one is recommended. The laser probe should be put in the patient's hand and with the help of the dentist, it should touch the first zone of the therapy. After the programmed time elapses, the light guide is moved to the next field and the procedure is started again. In this way, all the areas which the dentist has estimated as necessary should be touched consecutively. With abscess after incision and drainage, a laser therapy of the mucosa is made. The number of fields is determined by the spread of the inflammation process. The therapy continues for five to six days after removing the drainage. The therapy starts on the first day from the bottom of the incision wound and gradually moves outwards synchronically with the healing process. The patient suffers from arthritis of tempora mandibular joint. The purpose of the therapy is to decrease pain symptoms, improve blood circulation and metabolism, suppress joint irritation. The treatment is made simultaneously or after other curing procedures related with removing of occlusive irritations. The low-level laser therapy is an integral part of the treatment method in cases of stomatitis, traumas and fractures, pathology of the saliva glands, implantology, etc.